Hey there, how you guys doing? I'm doing all right. Still doing PT and working on uh, getting this knee back in order. My <clears throat> left knee was the one I did in last May, and my right knee was the one that was done in December. And um, it's it's amazing the difference in the two. Um, last May I had a horrible time. I had lots and lots of pain huge amounts of swelling, I didn't have very much bend, and this time around it's all completely different, although I've been having a little pain here and there, um, I was hoping to be off the pain pills by now, but I'm not quite off of them. Uh, yesterday we had rainy weather, and uh, my new knee didn't like that so well. Now, the one I had done in May was fine, but the one in December was, was pretty sore. Um, see what has been going on. I've been here at home, um, and then I've been here at home, and I've been here at home. Although I did go out last week on, I think it was Tuesday, I had a doctor appointment, I had a follow-up appointment with the surgeon for my knee, and he said things were looking good, and um, keep doing my PT at home for a couple more weeks, and then he wants me to try to drive and go to, he has a, his He's in a practice that's owned by a bunch of doctors throughout the state, and they also own some uh, physical therapy centers. And so they have one next to his office, and he wants me to go there. And that's where I went last time, and I liked him, and it went well. <coughs> so I'm sure I'll go there again. Um, I mean, I know I'm going to go there again. I already scheduled with them. Um, so I have this week and then next week with PT at home. And then I'm gonna try to drive, and I'm a little I'm a little more concerned about that with this knee because this is my right leg, and that's you know your driving leg. Um, so yeah, but I mean if it doesn't work, then I'll have to have more home PT, I guess. Um, thinking about driving, just like down the road, maybe next week to see how it goes just to see where I am strength-wise and everything, because my biggest concern that I told him about what was, um, well, my biggest concern, and I told him about it, and that was, you know, if you have to go from, if you have to break suddenly, am I going to have enough control of this leg to do it quickly enough and hard enough, you know, if I had to avoid an accident or something? Um, so, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll see where that goes. Um, you know, I'll try just going down my road because there's, you know, about 10 cars a day that go down my road. So, you know, it won't be, it won't be a huge issue. So, um, anyway, let's see. What else can I tell you? Um, I mean, my bend has kind of been stuck in the 95 to 100 degree range. And, you know, they're not worried about that. They said so that's, you know that's fine. It took my other knee a long time, so they aren't too worried about this one. Um, I only have a little bit of time here, because my niece will be getting off the bus, coming home from school, and then PT will be getting here about 15 minutes later. So, I don't have a ton of time. I have about, well, about 20 minutes until my niece comes home, so I guess I won't be talking to you that long. I haven't done any knitting or any other crafts. Um, you know, when you're taking pain pills, it's hard to concentrate on anything like that. So I've watched a lot of stuff on you know, Netflix while laying in bed. Um, I've watched more TV than I have in a long time. And that's not saying much because I don't watch TV. Uh, what else have I done? Nothing. Well, I got to walk around the yard Monday during PT, which is kind of scary because it's uneven and you're not used to that. And I'm walking with the cane now, no walker, so that's a good thing. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, so, let's see. Punxsutawney Phil said we're going to have an early spring and the Ohio Groundhog, known as Buckeye Chuck, said that we were going to have six more weeks of winter, 
which I knew that was going to happen because it was sunny the day before, and we were supposed to have a sunny day the next, you know, on, on Groundhog Day, so. Anyway, it's a groundhog, you, you know, that pokes his head out or gets pulled out of a burrow, and you expect him to be able to tell you the weather? No, I don't believe in that. Anyway, um, I don't know what else I can tell you. Things are, things are just here. My hair is getting really long. Uh, I have a lot of curl. I just washed it, so it's wet right now, but I pulled it back because it's, eh, it's like down to like here. It looks like crap, but I got all this curl I never had before. It's funny. Never had curl in my life. And you can see it. Well, I can see it. Anyway, that's about all there is to tell you. Um, oh, I know what else I can tell you about. My niece, my niece's puppy. I'm sure I told you she got a puppy. Puppy got sick, and puppy had parvo. Puppy was in the hospital for almost a week. Um, Sadie's the puppy's name. And uh, apparently... Well, my niece was spending the night with this one friend of hers, and she, her parents said she could bring her puppy with her. And so she did, and we, we found out after Sadie got sick that their dog died, and uh, it was, this is what they told us. Well, it ate a cat with parvo, and it killed it. Okay, cats don't get parvo. Dogs do. Anyway. So that's, we're pretty sure that's where the parvo came from. But everybody else has been fine, so it's all good, and that puppy is back to her normal self. She is bouncing off the walls. She's in my niece's room right now in her crate, so she can have a little nap because I needed a break from her. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> she's only been there while I was taking my shower, so. And I just came out of the shower and talked to you guys, so it's not like she's been in there forever. And Sebastian is being a butthead and staying outside and not, refusing to come in for me. He'll come in for my niece or my PT, but not for me, because he just likes to be a butthead. Anyway, I, I think that's all I got. I've rambled on about nothing for seven and a half minutes, so I will let you go, and I will talk to you all later.